Charles, how is Cardano more decentralized than Bitcoin? How is that possible? You know, the Bitcoin people are some of the worst in understanding the concepts of decentralization sometimes. They get philosophy pretty right, and they, they certainly have principles. But when you actually want to have a reasonable, realistic, fact-based conversation about decentralization, they have none of it. So you can look at parameters like the amount of full nodes in the system. Uh, that's like your ability to regenerate the system in the event uh, that the system is in some way hit or compromised. It also reinforces a core principle of cryptocurrencies, which is inclusive accountability. Basically, we all check each other's work. Okay, so that's the concept of these validators. They look at things, they validate things. We know the system is right. Then there's consensus participation, and that's basically who gets to update the system. So whole point of these systems is you do transactions and as you do transactions they all get collected in a pending some cloud out in the sky pending your mempool they're just sitting there and you got to process them update the system well somebody has to do that now you can have a static and federated system where the same people over and over do that or you can have a dynamic system where uh, different people do that and a decentralized system where different people do that and it's unpredictable who those people are now, Bitcoin, you don't have a lot of unpredictability there. The same miners tend to win again and again because they're professional operations and there's only a small collection of pools. I've seen some people cite less than 10 major operations control more than 50% of the system. So you do have a dynamic system where you certainly could have new actors come and go. There's no restriction, hard restriction on it, but it's not quite decentralized. It's federated. Okay, so it's dynamic, but federated. Uh, whereas what we're doing is we're going to a completely decentralized system and there's already a good indication there's going to be hundreds of distinct actors in the beginning who are making blocks. So I think we have somewhere like 19,000 nodes in the German Gander, which are all by definition full nodes because they carry the whole thing. So if we move those over, we're actually having a pretty high node count and we're going to have many more consensus nodes by a factor of 10 to 100 over Bitcoin at the beginning. And our system does not slow down or lose performance appreciably if we were to increase that parameter substantively. So it's foreseeable in future versions of Ouroboros as Cardano grows to have 10,000 or 100,000 stake pools given updates to the, net, the way we do the networking and, and a few protocol parameters. But these are inevitabilities. They will eventually happen. And we can force that along with parameterizations and competition and geographic drift of ADA will create that because people will tend to delegate to people in their backyard. Uh, and so, you know, African holders will donate, uh, will delegate to African pools and so forth. It's just because they know these people, they have business relationships with them, or perhaps there's legal requirements, whatever have you. So over time, the system gets more decentralized. So we win the validation set because it's going to be easier and easier on our side, the way we design things, to run a full node, eventually with future technology, much easier than anything Bitcoin could ever do with their snail pace development. And we already, out of the gate, have crushed Bitcoin in terms of the amount of consensus participants. And so we're much more decentralized in that respect. Uh, finally, you have concept of code participation. The whole notion of a treasury is you create a much more egalitarian, decentralized and fair participation process for the direction of the system than a uh, beneficent meritocratic, meritocratic system where you have core developers and it's not clear who gets to be one. Uh, you know, it's um, very difficult to participate there. I'm not allowed to. You know, a lot of people are. And they say, oh yeah, sure, write a bunch of code. It's like, okay, I can spend two years of my life begging and pleading and then I can be welcomed as one of the lesser vassals of this, uh, this system. So no, it's not decentralized at all. Of course, I'll be burnt at the stake by the Bitcoin wizards and these other people. And they'll say, Charles is lying to you. Well, you know, guys, that ship has sailed. You have your opinion. I have my opinion. We're just going to, at this point, agree to disagree. Uh, so I think very firmly that we are much more decentralized. And there is very empirical ways you can look at this from the amount of validating nodes to the amount of consensus participants uh, to how you handle source management and decisions to fork. And we have tools for all of those things.